हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू दिस सेकंड लास्ट सेशन ऑफ व्यापार जगत प्रोग्राम टुडे एंड इन द सेकंड लास्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सम पावर पैक कैंडिड डिस्कशन एंड यू नो वॉर्म डिस्कशन रिलेटेड टू द यंग इंडियंस वी नो दैट आवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री इज इन ट्राइंग टू मेक आवर कंट्री ग्रेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आत्मनिर्भर so in today's uh, topic that is the atmanirbharta from the perspective of the young indian so in this particular program we have joined some finest young uh, entrepreneur and uh, i like to introduce them one by one mr yash shah the founder clientel joy yes welcome to this program thank you thank you for having me youngest to youngest uh, entrepreneur mr nadeem jafri founder and managing partner hearty mart welcome you nadeem bhai thank you thank and, you and ms shraddha musle founder futuretayari.com unique name where the future entrepreneurs future communicator future you know so many things is going to prepared with her mentorship and uh, two more panel member is going to join soon mr arijit soni founder my bike and um, ms kumar mr kumar manish the state yuva consultant gujarat at unicef so both of them are going to join very soon so before beginning the discussion let me introduce the panel member in their brief profile mr yash shah did a mechanical engineering from nits and worked as an investment banker before founding <coughs> clientel joy he is a cnbc tv 18 young turk and mit ex boot camper and carol fellow at clientel joy he served as its chief executive officer with core responsibility including financial management strategy and business development and in our another panel member mr nadeem jafri is the founder and chief mentor of hearty mart which is an which is a chain of supermarkets in rural gujarat he is a management graduate who worked in advertising and media industry before turning entrepreneur in 2004 since then he is actively involved as a mentor to his own company and to other startups hearty mart business model is a part of case study in prominent business schools like ima mica research institute like spicer and many more it became a global case study when the research paper which nadeem co-authored with a professor friend got published by e cch he is invited by b school like ima edi nirma to deliver an interactive my story session with the students inspiring entrepreneurs on regular basis and our another panel member ms shraddha masale shraddha is an actress by profession you might have seen her in many serials you have to guess guess where you have seen her She is also the founder of futuretheory.com, a new age edtech platform focused on soft skill platform of choice for students who are in their final year of graduation or post graduation, and also for people who are in their job looking to accelerate their careers. The course are on effective communication, etiquette, and grooming, self confidence, how to crack the interview, networking, sales, which is the requirement. post pandemic especially in the country like india and our uh, another pan panel member is going to moderate the session mr kumar manish mr kumar manish is a communication and social media strategist he has over 14 plus years of experience in media communication and development sector he has worked on youth empowerment entrepreneurship media management social media strategy and digital media training for students media and communication students professionals mm. and the government he has worked with the center of communication of child rights ccr pdpu unicef india peace revolution itdp times of india among others he is a us state fellow and swedish institute fellow he is a former curator of ahmedabad global shapers and initiative of the world economic forums so welcome all the panel member and kumar manis so with this note i am uh, requesting kumar manish to take the session forward and uh, let's have some insightful and beautiful conversation and what the young entrepreneurs young mind of this country is thinking about atmanirbhar kumar manish over to you 
welcome manish finally oh yes kumar uh, you're on mute kumar oh yeah kindly kindly unmute yourself yes yes uh, this is the common refrain which we have been hearing for last 8 months or so please unmute yourself <laughs> yes uh, sorry for the delay there was some technical glitch i had to get my laptop to log into this particular event and i think uh, that's very apt that we are going to talk about na atmanirbharta especially and most of the panelists are from gujarat so we are quite an atmanirbhar state in lot many sense uh, uh, we have shada joining from mumbai uh, so welcome shada yash and nadeem i'm all from gujarat that's oh, yeah, 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 yeah great okay so i think uh, we should not uh, waste the time because we already have i think almost 30 minutes have gone by so i'm going straight to nadeem bhai uh, and you are a veteran in in terms of the startup space and you have been a uh, leading torch we are in gujarat and you have been a mentor at lot many places so let's begin with you uh, what was your atmanirbhar moment when you decided that you have to leave a corporate job or, and get into uh, in the world of entrepreneurs uh, actually the step i took uh, was to become self reliant only because i i felt that my career was not moving ahead in advertising i uh, when i joined advertising i was a quite uh, senior as far as my age was concerned advertising is a very youth driven uh, industry where people like yash are seen everywhere and i was a misfit there so uh, so i found that uh, when i was pitted against people uh, again my colleagues who were 6 7 years younger to me so when i was Uh, i was in mumbai for one month in the, the year 2002 to work on a reliance infocom pitch during that time i for the first time i saw a huge big bazaar in phoenix mill compound it was the only big bazaar there and i it it tried it inspired me to do something perhaps so there was a passing thought ke agar kuch kiya to retail mein kuch karunga you know that was the idea the other point aspect was when i went to mumbai and i met uh, other recruitment consultants i was told point blank that my profile is not matching with my age in mumbai i don't see any future to further growth in advertising so i returned with uh, 50% heavy heart and 50% enthusiasm of creating my own retail setup and i really started working and eventually in 2004 i started and moved out of my corporate world so to it was two years of hard work where i tried uh, Uh, to identify the location to do the research work on uh, which were the location i would choose uh, what would be the model of my business and eventually in 2004 i turned down the kumar kumar so your atmanirbhar moment was going to mumbai uh, yeah you can say that in fact i would say atmanirbhar moment was returning from mumbai <laughs> great yeah, yes yes so now moving to shraddha uh, and you and labaz last time we had a discussion on a call you mentioned that you have 15 years worked as an actor and a model yes. and now now you have a dis- different designation we can call you actorpreneur as we have combination of entrepreneur <laughs> and actor so you're actorpreneur life mode ah so uh, so what was your moment when you decided because you have a and uh, actually i googled you also and i saw that you in cid Okay, so we have man grown up CID cult. Uh, most of Don't us. Don't say that you have grown up on CID. Now I'm actually very old. <laughs> I, I hear a lot of kids telling me that. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your moment that now you decided? Okay, I have to take a call and go into different direction. And and I have been looking at Future Theory, you know, website and all. It looks very promising. Uh, the kind of content which the the videos which you have posted and all. So, what was your moment uh, to get into this thing? thanks manish uh, to for the website well i uh, you know honestly i can't think of one moment where i thought that oh this is a thing that i want to take uh, a leap um and again this is not like a career change for me but yes for a couple of years uh, this is i'm going to um, you know make future theory something and uh, so it's been it's been i think uh three years now that i've been thinking about something that i want to do in this direction so actually the idea came from my own experience as i said uh when i uh, when i came to bombay maybe uh, during my miss india contest and uh, uh, 
and i came from a relatively small uh, not small town but i came from ahmedabad so i did not have that kind of exposure that you know the girls from delhi bombay had because they had this modeling backgrounds they were from army backgrounds they were well traveled well ex- big exposure they could communicate well so i i was not as smart as them i felt small and then uh, and then gradually over the years i did modeling and acting and over the years then you have your experience and and uh, you know recent years when i kept meeting younger lot and i could see i could see myself in them i could see and i realized that if i if i had got this kind of guidance when i was younger things would have been different for me uh the journey would have been faster better whatever so i think agar if i can give that to these people why not and uh, i think that was my entrepreneurial leap entrepreneurial leap great and, great yeah. fantastic and i think we lot many people can i can relate to it like for example i come from a small town then when i moved to delhi then i know that there's something more than engineering and doctor otherwise and uh, we are from like state like bihar mostly either we end up in engineering doctor or maybe in uh, in civil services so yeah, there yeah. when we got to know that there are different professions and different kind of an exposure so i completely agree with you and the kind of efforts which you are putting in your initiative i think it has a lot of potential and it will make a lot of difference into the young people's lives who come from tier 2 and tier 3 city so so we look forward to have more conversation around it so now i will go back uh, go to yash uh, Uh, yes, congrats, and you have been raising funds left, right, and center. Uh, Thank you. So, so, what's your secret sauce uh, for raising funds? Because most of the people here must be very much curious, and how you are raising funds, and you have been established uh, now startup uh, more than that, I believe. So, what has been your secret sauce so far? So, uh, essentially, in in terms of in terms of fundraising, it's uh, the the simplest things to do is is to just think from the other person's perspective, right? What are uh, more often than not, I've seen most entrepreneurs make the mistake of k uh, of thinking that they are the center of the universe, right? K, मतलब this is my company and this is my idea and this is how I would present it. But the goal is is to is to make them understand uh, because because from their point of view, you are just an asset class, right? So. um if they have 100 rupees they are like investing 70 rupees in fd and then 10 rupees in ma uh, mutual funds or whatever and then another 10 rupees in share market as an example and then and then in the last 10 rupees they have a lot of startups who are pitching to them and you are one of those startups and then so the idea should be how do you make sure that you are that you become a good uh, uh you know investment opportunity for them um and and so the conversation should be about what the future holds for you rather than um uh, or rather for them rather than what you have been doing in the past and and using the past only as a um as as something that you gain their trust by right so so we don't use so we use traction to show that you know what we are saying that we'll do in the future is something that we will be able to do because we've done that in the past but not like uh, just using that and and hoping that they will understand what the potential or what the future holds for us so that's that's like i mean it's over simplifying uh, there are a lot of uh, nitty gritties and details and and uh, a lot of other things but but in interest of time i mean it, this would be the biggest uh, thing right so just thinking from their perspective making sure that you are an attractive investment proposition for them so is there a particular time when a startup should start thinking okay this is the time for me to start pitching for funding is there a moment which you can suggest and can guide so uh, so the best way to think about it is is this right so if i'm if i'm here today and if i want to um reach uh, let's say at some point and and that that point or that milestone could be in in any metric so it could be in number of users number of subscribers um the amount of revenue whatever that case is right so let's say you set yourself a milestone that in a year or two years this is where i want to be um or i want to take the startup uh, at that place and you work yourself backwards from that right so you need if that is the case then you will need this much amount in marketing this much amount in product this many team members and whatever uh, the requirements are and then you figure out what your ask is as of now um and only when that milestone is is once you have the proof of concept um of whatever it is that you're working on is when um any investor most of the investors will look at you um and and kind of consider you seriously however um so even though your chances of raising funds are much stronger once you have proof of concept i recommend uh, every entrepreneur to start f- uh, raising funds right away so as soon as they think of an idea to start approaching the investors 
um, and the reason being um, is that a lot i mean there will be a lot of questions that that investors will ask that you may not have thought about um, that would be one uh, plus fundraising is is it's not as simple as like buying maggie at a retail store so you'll need to like build a relationship with people so so even if you are like really really good it will take you like at least 3 to 4 months to get there um, another third one um, um being is that is that it will help you refine the pitch right so uh, so the more people you speak to the more questions you get asked the more things you incorporate in the pitch um and the better arguments you'd be able to make for why you are a better um investment opportunity and so i recommend that you start it right away start reaching out to people do cold outreach ask for introductions from people you already know um however um uh, expect that you'll be taken a lot more seriously once you have proof of concept very valid i think those people who are listening and potential entrepreneurs they must get some idea and really love the idea that you no know, once you start pitching you'll get good kind of feedback which can you can incorporate in your startups and all uh that's a good point yes and i think those people who are listening us please keep posting questions in the comment section and we will love to ask those questions to our esteemed panelist so again i will go back to shraddha uh, like for example you mentioned that you were started this thing almost 3 months back so does covid played a role there or how do you see the covid uh, influence in you as starting up uh no manish by the way yash thanks for the lovely insights huh? that was uh, quite helpful um uh, so manish uh, covid covid in fact accelerated the process i would say because i was working uh, for this uh, maybe for around one and a half years and then you know it takes a while you know what happens it for a career shift i'm not saying change because this is i'm, I'm not i'm not going to leave acting for sure because i should not uh it's just a break for a few years uh you need to prepare yourself you know you mentally it takes uh, uh it takes a while for uh, us to prepare and to read books and to listen to people and uh, because acting is a different set of people and entrepreneurs a different set of people so that process was on for like 2 3 years but because of corona and because everybody was at home and we were at home and nothing else to do it just accelerated the process and uh, we really worked hard i would say during these months and uh, and this is an edtech space so uh, i'm sure with the corona a uh, lot of industries uh, are disrupted and so many uh, so i think i think shashikant uh, shashikant if you can go on mute please that would be helpful yeah great so what what i mean to say is uh, so a lot of industries are disrupted and uh, we see so many problems but for edtech uh, corona was a blessing the kind of uh, the kind of customers all the edtech platforms have got and the the kind of the number of people that are accessing these uh, you know edtech startups it's immense but i had thought of this idea much before corona Okay. 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 So I have a a uh, leading question to that, which is more challenging, acting or starting an enterprise? Do no actually, Manish. Do no. You know, to be good at something, to be so, what do no may help you. I'm, but you know what? I've really learned now. I understand. I think now, if I'm again, which I'll be going back to acting whenever uh, after two years, I think I'll be better actor in terms of I'll give more of myself. क्या होता है पहले वेन यूर एन एक्टर ना तो सिर्फ आप एक एक्टर के बारे में ही सोचते हो मैं 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 ऐसे दिख रहा हूँ मेरे कितने लाइन से यू नो आई वॉट माई नाउ पता नहीं अब मैंने प्रोड्यूसर के हिसाब से भी सोचती हूँ एक डायरेक्टर के हिसाब से भी सोचती हूँ बिकॉज अभी हम सब कुछ मैनेज करते हैं ना वी कैन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर सो मुझे लगता है दैट इज अ बिग चेंज दैट आई सी इन माई सेल्फ बट गुड एट समथिंग एवरीबडी वुड अग्री बहुत मेहनत लगती है दोनों चीज में Yes, that we agree that you have to wear too many hats when you are entrepreneur, from starting from an office boy to a CEO and CTO. So, so you have to do all the roles as an entrepreneur. I think most of people who are present here have done, gone through the process, gone through the grind. So, I will go yeah, back to. You have to keep your head down. That's what I've realized. Yes. You're not here as an actor. Nobody is going to give you too much of bow. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Nadim, bhai, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, so, Nadim, bhai. your your hearty mart and uh, i recently also started one more outlet uh, one more uh, no uh, uh, hearty mart opened up uh, 
so what's your lowest point uh, of entrepreneurial journey na uh, because we always talk about the high point what are the lowest point and how did you manage to come out of it uh, because that might give us a lot of hope for na uh, people who want to explore uh, because that's bound to come sooner or later how do you deal that so it was uh, after four years of my starting the jawapura store uh, this was in 2008 when uh, you know you know by that time hatimart became a key study in i am ahmedabad and we had lots and lots of media coverage but uh, unfortunately 2008 march may we couldn't do much and my team was uh, really so so my the person who used to handle my store started crying in front of me saying that now now what because he had he had to let go his uh, teaching job to join me so i told him that to come what may we are not shutting the shop so you trust me for this and we reinvested humne store ka look and feel thoda change kiya uh, this was a time when reliance fresh has just entered into the business so and our color scheme is also red and they do have a red color scheme so i i didn't even copy them to be honest let me clear that so i i did the uh, refurbishing of my store and uh, this uh, started giving us positive energy because the customers who would come to our store they started giving positive feedback to my team saying that hey, you look really good and uh, so team started getting rejuvenated now why i say this was the lowest point because had i lost faith in my ability i it would have been a closed chapter there wouldn't have been any artimat anymore right i i used to get uh, there were offers i got from uh, one of the pr agency in andabad to join them as a head and it was a very lucrative offer which i had to let go just because i thought that i can't let my team down and so from there we next year onwards we started growing and gradually we were started gaining the traction so for it was a struggle of 4 to 5 years and fourth year was the toughest most low, lowest uh, thing in my life and I, i in fact i have not seen the same thing even in corona days so that was such a low time Whoa. so kudus to you nadim bhai you and your team that na you have sailed through it now you are here and expanding your no entrepreneurial journey so good to know uh now i'm going going to yash uh, yash are you there yeah yeah i'm here yes. okay okay great uh so like for any startup team matters a lot and i think nadim bhai also mentioned about team uh and when you are dealing like in your age now you must be dealing with lot of millennials you know and they are yeah many things to handle from personal life to social media management so so many things how you are able to build a robust team uh, because what you will suggest to any startup or any entrepreneur to build a team because you have your own vision of a startup which not yeah. necessarily will be shared by the other team members or someone who you are getting employed they are coming as an employee but as a startup mm-hmm. you need someone who can commit full time how yeah. did you able to do that so uh, so there were a couple of things that we would uh, we would consider right so the so the first would be uh, first would be that we'd never uh, like bet on the on the skills of people uh, that they have as of now but we'll we'll bet on 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 their potential i mean so what could they do um, if they were to join hands which meant that they would get an opportunity to learn a lot in the field of uh, interest that they had as well while working with us right so that was um, that's the first thing the second thing is is that we we run a program which is kind of like we call it like a client joint dating so which is where um we work with them for 3 months um and uh, and and that's where they evaluate the company and we evaluate them um and it's on it's at full compensation right so it's not like an internship or anything uh, but then at the end of 3 months um what i say to them is that is that if uh, you don't like the company or if we end up not liking you um then i will surely help you get placed somewhere else right so you have that guarantee um that you'll get placed somewhere else and then given that um let's if both let let both of us evaluate each other right and and so it's very very difficult to find out um in in like an hour hour and a half ka interview or even in couple of interviews how that because everybody is you know hard working and quick learner right so um in in terms of the interview but but in that three months process is is when we are able to uh, actually find out and even they are able to find out uh, because every company also claims that they are their employee first 
So in front of customers, they will say customer first, uh, investors, they will say shareholders first and employees, they will say employee first. So, so they're also able to see okay, how are we maintaining balance in, in our sense. So that would be the, the second thing. And, and like the proof to that uh, is that is that we are we are five people in leadership, right? So so it's, it's me and, and I have Abhishek and Anupama is chief of tech, Sahil is uh, chief of growth and Shashwat is chief of operations. Um, Anupama, Sahil and, and um, Shashwat, all three of them were interns, right? So they started their careers with us. Um, and this is like four, four and a half years ago. And, and, and so, so their journey in the organization is also kind of inspiration to other people that, hey, you know, if you if you stay over here and, and make the company your own, um, then uh, then there is genuine scope for uh, for growth as well. And then the last thing is, is that, uh, you know, we, we this is a very silly point and most people don't agree to doing this, but but people end up doing it um, uh, nonetheless, is, is that we uh, we don't make promises we know for a fact that we'll not be able to keep right so um I, i've seen entrepreneurs uh, buckling under pressure ki are resource is very key and very important if this person leaves then i'm not going to be able to survive and, and so at least for the next six months or eight months what can i say that will keep him or her here and and they just end up making a promise that that they'll regret later or not be able to keep and, and so we just maintain that clarity so to give you a very quick example like one of our so when when we were running out of funds sometime in 2017 um, one of our team members just came in and asked that, hey, you know, I'm going to get married. Um, and, and so we know that we are not generating significant amount of revenue as of now to be able to sustain. Um, and, and so what if we, we shut down? Right. And, and so, so very, very honestly, um, instead of giving him some metric or some vanity metric that would make him happy and just out of the conversation, we essentially uh, told him that you're jobless honge na, to sab mein jobless honge. And, and we'll get some place else. So, so if if you are going to be out in the street, I'm also going to be out in the street. I'm going to be there with you. Esa nahi hoga ki we'll leave you and then we'll continue, right? And and so so those kind of honest conversations, not being backed into a corner to make promises that you know you can't keep. Uh, these are a couple of things that that uh, help us. And and then the other thing is also this ke um, you know it, it's not just an employee employer relationship. It's it's also peer relationship amongst all the team members, right? And, and so there should be significant avenues for growth amongst them, right? So um, they want to work with people who, so let's say, so, so given an example, if, if I have a choice to have a software engineer uh, or another software engineer who may not be as good, but maybe a rock climber, right? As an example, I'd go with the second one, right? Because he's, he'll bring in a lot different, a, a lot of perspective skills to seek lega, but at it, well, what type ka, um, attitude interests will not be developed and so so we also take care that internally in the teams that they are working on or the peers that they have uh, they have a lot of scope for interesting conversations and, and discovering things in life that are or discovering possibilities in life that they may not have thought about and, and so these are a couple of things that we that we uh, take care of very interesting uh, very interesting yes uh... And yes, I like the whole idea of that. Of course, one is investing in people, and another is being transparent with your team members. And I think that's really helped yeah. in building a good team culture. And right now, what we are looking also looking at good team culture in a startups. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go back to Shadha uh, because I was going uh, glancing through your website, and there was this line: "Isse farak nahi padta ki sahar bada hai ya chhota. Sapne bade hone chahiye. India ka naya time shuru ho raha hai. Agle 10-15 saal." golden years hone wala hai get on to this train so how this whole journey of future theory come uh, came up and what was the real motivation uh, because you've been into industry but uh, you also seen a lot of other people what was the real motivation that really pushed you okay, okay you have to do something like this and if you can explain more about the future theory effort which you are doing so uh, so you know i think we all of us know that it my mute no sorry so I think all of us know कि क्या होता है कि हमारे पास इंडिया में है ना जैसे technical skills, academic skills हम सब school, college में पढ़ते हैं तो ये सारी चीजें सबके पास होती है लेकिन जो बाकी चीजें लेकिन like I personally feel your self confidence or self esteem बहुत बड़ी चीज होती है अगर हम अपने आप को ही बहुत नहीं समझेंगे तो लोग तो नहीं समझेंगे ना और ये problem बहुत लोगों के साथ है because I have faced it personally so I know yeah, and then your communication. We all know how important is communication, even now. And 
market may be so everybody in the office they know and i have also seen the corporate world ki my partner who happens to be my husband he is a uh, he is an investment banker to maine wo isliye mujhe acting ke saath saath mujhe wo corporate duniya ka bhi idea aa gaya hai so communication plays a huge role in actually uh, moving ahead uh, to kaam to karna hi hai par saath mein aap kitna kaise baat karte ho and and expressing yourself is not just the words that you use and not just the english language and uh, and then your grooming and etiquette we have all seen like when we travel uh, you know when we go out of this country so hame aisa lagta hai na ki hum you know why indians are not that well groomed compared to other you know people in the us and european countries and everywhere or you know i felt that you know i always to feel that so india hai na india aisa karke dikhayega na like something like i should make we have this reputation as indians which You know, you don't like being an Indian, right? So, ऐसा लगता है कि we have to do something. और और young लोगों में ना ये हमको potential दिखता है. लोग मेहनत करने को तैयार हैं. And I respect the youngsters. अभी मतलब even this age youngsters. ऐसा नहीं है कि सबको TikTok और social media करें. उनको अच्छा करना है. Let's give them a direction. Let's give them a guidance. ऊपर से क्या होता है कि India is still a developing country. So हमें जरूरी नहीं है कि सबके पेरेंट्स के पास उतना एक्सपोजर है सिर्फ कुछ पेरेंट्स होते हैं जो वेल ट्रेवल्ड होते हैं मल्टीनेशनल्स में काम करते हैं आप दुनिया घूमे हो तो उन लोगों को मिल जाता है ये एक्सपोजर पर सबके पास नहीं होता है तो अगर आपके पेरेंट्स के पास ही वो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं है वो एक्सपोजर नहीं है तो बच्चों को कहाँ से देंगे इंटेंशन सबका होता है सो 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 पीपल नीड दैट हेल्पिंग हैंड पीपल नीड दैट गाइडेंस और पढ़ाई में तो इंडिया हम तो मेहनत करते ही ऑल इंडियंस वर्क हार्ड तो ये बाकी चीजों में वी नीड टू बी मोर एलिगेंट मोर सोफिस्टिकेटेड और ये सारी चीज जो पॉलिश हो जाए ना आई एम श्योर इट्स नॉट दैट मैं इट्स अ हैवी लाइन बट वी कैन बी एट पार विथ ऑल द गुराज जो वो यू नो दे हैव लॉट ऑफ एटीट्यूड बिकॉज ऑफ वो गया नहीं है uh, इतने सालों का जो उन्होंने हम पे राज किया है आज भी लाइक अ फेस इन कम्स एंड यू नो वी ऑल आर लाइक ओ माय गॉड इज समथिंग नो इट्स जस्ट दैट एंड द वे दे मार्केट देमसेल्व्स वी ऑल नो राइट दीस आर ऑल एंटरप्रेन्योर्स देयर वो अपने द वे दे मार्केट देयर ब्रांड्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू हमारे ब्रांड्स ले जाके यहां से योगा लेके गए यहीं से मेडिटेशन लेके गए वहां से बड़ा किया ये सब हमारी चीजें हैं बट वी कुड नॉट डू इट yeah so lot of motivations for me yeah <laughs> okay thanks yes now recently na we are seeing this haldi dud as turmeric latte na it's very it's getting ca- it's catching up everywhere but we have made haldi ka dud piya hai good i think we having good discussion uh, if you have to start a fresh what one thing you will change i i will not change anything i'll just start great yes yeah uh, lots of things but but one of the things that i definitely change is is i do my uh, research better um, so so when we started my research was essentially reaching out to my batchmates and sending across a google form ka link ke yaar ye bhar de aur mereko bata de you know and and just keep bhar de aisa um so i i, I do that a lot better and and so uh, typically i mean most of the implementation that is done is is by engineers right and and so There's a framework, so so engineer है ना तो thought processes के सीधा बनाना ही start करना है, right? So so वो thought process होना चाहिए discover the problem, implement the solution and measure its impact. So discover, implement, measure की जगह सीधा implementation से start करते हैं और फिर implement ही करते रहते हैं. So so that we did for 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 a long time, and and so that's that's what I would I would change. कि you discover the problem well. um you build a solution you implement a solution and then you measure its impact and then make changes and again kind of go back into the same cycle that's that's one thing that i change i think it would reduce at least like 6 to 8 months uh, opportunity cost that has that has been for us shradha same question for you so change and in ourselves like what change do i want in myself uh, or it was basically for a startup what you will change but let me add one more question to it Okay. which is most rewarding your acting career or your entrepreneurial journey which is more rewarding rewarding experience wise that's hey, this is a very tough one manish i can't answer this question we is dono be rewarding actually but to come to the previous question well i thought of because i thought change in myself where well, you know what i i would want ideally you know i would want this gujarati attitude how you all have uh, although i come from gujarat i'm not a gujarati like you know how like cheese ho jayengi You know that one thing. My first of all, 
कैसे होगा तो ये कैसे होगा यू नो बी थिंग्स हैपन एवरी इट्स इट्स पॉसिबल एंड यू नो आई वॉट आई आई एम गेटिंग इन दैबिट एंड पीपल आर देर टू कोलेबरेट पीपल आर देर टू हेल्प यू जस्ट जस्ट गो आउट इन द यूनिवर्स तो so, ये मुझे इतना अच्छा लगता है हमारे गुजरात का सो so, जब हम आत्मनिर्भर गुजरात की बात कर रहे थे ना जो गुजराती को जरूरत है ये बहुत एनकरेज करने की मे बी बाकी स्टेट्स में ज्यादा जरूरत है क्योंकि अच्छे अच्छे लोग जिनके पास पोटेंशियल है वो नहीं कर पाते बिकॉज कैसे होगा हम कैसे कर सकते हैं कम एंड लर्न फ्रॉम आर्स आई मीन फ्रॉम गुजरात लाइक जस्ट डू इट Yes, uh, okay. thank you, everyone. I think we just have 35 minutes, but we really enjoyed. Or I believe that all of you have enjoyed this conversation, and we can take it ahead. Uh, over to you, Sachin Gand, bhai. Yes, thank you so much, all the panel members. Before wrapping the session, uh, what I understood from the whole context that you know, change whether the change is required or not required. But one thing is. everybody is accepted and submitted that change is the inevitable process of the world so with this note let us uh, you know energize ourselves all the audience who are watching this live discussion must be benefited with the insightfuls that shared by the panel member and of course the brilliant moderation done by kumar manish thank you so much so